cameras disguised as everyday items hidden in a vacation or rental or home can invade your family's privacy and you may never even know. We've seen it happen, but how do you prevent it? Five on your sides, Keely Arthur puts simple hidden camera detectors to the test to see if they can really help protect your privacy. And Shu joins us now live to explain. Keely. Deborah, this is a really serious topic, but this was a fun experiment. Our team hid different types of cameras in a home, and I had to find them using these two detectors that sell online for 40 or 50 bucks. For 25 bucks on Amazon, you can get a working USB adapter with a hidden camera inside. It even comes with a sticker to conceal the mini SD slot and controls on the back. It's similar to the device a Fuke Wave Arena man pleaded guilty to using to peep on a woman. Hold it. Comes on. But hidden device detectors are just as easy to find online and after learning to use them. I searched two rooms in this house for four hidden cameras to see how well they work. And I have no idea what these cameras look like. So. We're using two main features on these detectors, a red light that highlights camera lenses and a beeping that alerts you to wireless signals. It took nearly six minutes of searching to find the first camera. Oh, is it Yoda? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he's cute, but he, I guess he's, he's also a little... Little mannequin. But the same detector goes right over to other cameras without alerting me. Okay. We switched to the second detector, which quickly alerted us to this hidden camera inside a fake smoke detector. Is it that? Is it a, the smoke detector? I spotted a third camera with the lens finding light. Ah, I found it. Is there certain optics in there that are going to reflect light a little bit differently than, say, a pane of glass? The detectors beeped for the smoke alarm and camera hidden inside the stuffed toy because they were connected to Wi-Fi and sending out a signal. The other cameras weren't. All right. That's why cybersecurity expert Tracy Wallace says this lens finding light is a critical feature. But we saw this. It was it was detecting, but then it also has got uh, the the actual visual indicator, which I think is really useful. And and I would say probably the two, maybe even more important. Is that a camera? In 20 minutes, I was able to find three of the four cameras. <laughs> But both detectors also gave off a lot of false alerts. Is this something? No. You need to make sure that you know what a positive looks like, and you're going to get false positives. Even knowing that I'm supposed to be looking for these things and I have the devices to do it, it's really hard. So Wallace, the expert, agreed with our test findings. These do work. This detector, the bigger one, performed a little better. The viewfinder on the light made it easier to spot a camera lens. But like Wallace said, you have to know what's real to alert yourself because there's a lot of false positives. Test it out on your phone, computer, Wi-Fi, hotspot before you use it in a real situation. I just don't think I would have even thought about looking for some hidden cameras in a vacation rental. But you Google, like, I found found a hidden camera in my Airbnb or Verbo and on Reddit, all the online forums, there's a lot of talk about this and wow. people saying that it's happened to them. We thankfully haven't had anything recently locally, but if you're worried, these devices, if used properly, can work. And it doesn't sound like that much of an expense to... No, it's cheap. If yeah. you really need the peace of mind, 50 yeah. bucks, worth it. It is. All right, Keely, thank you. Very interesting.